Three, two, one. Oh, okay, okay. The IPC? News flash. The IPC will soon be dispatching representatives to multiple <laughs> what worlds. The, the what's going on? The part of a raft of new measures to encourage trade and strengthen friendship throughout the cosmos. The Genius Society's newest masterpiece, World Eight, World Eight, World Eight, is about oh. to go live. Madame Herta has revealed that the project is about to enter the launch phase. What's up, guys? We're the haunted place in the wall. Follow. <laughs> Yeah, she's streaming Gonjium? That's crazy. Oh, the Dinans! You're finally here. She's so short! Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost talk now? Captain? You can just call me. She's like this tall! This is a cool looking event. You've got Hanya chilling? Oh yeah. Code! 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 No comment. Nice. Yo! This place looks cool! It's been overflowing with yin energy. And the garden itself is littered with suppression towers, stone monoliths, and ancient trees. It's creepy enough in the day. When the sun goes down, things get a whole lot creepier. If all that wasn't enough, they say that Mara Holy members of the Ten Lords Commission also wandered the garden. A word of advice, what the? Keep Yo! your wits about you. <laughs> Sounds like great streaming. Is my camera dying? Me. I bet I we can good? become the CN Joe's number one streamer in no time. <laughs> Funny you should mention to most people. Fixtral Garden was always a strange and desolate. All right, it's, it's it's technically story, but it's not really. But now that stories are beginning to circulate, the situation has changed. Dimension. During the Ghost Hunting Squad's Fixtral Exploration, Trailblazers this is vibes. Manage great knife and socials. Posting threads is a great way to create okay. discussions and fans of the supernatural. Oh, I can't wait. We're gonna get the whole CN Joe talking. Seriously, this is once in a lifetime material. We gotta plug it for everything. This is sick. Got. This is I'm sick. I like this. Updates, community engagements, all that good stuff. Once you get enough momentum, the fan base grows itself. <laughs> Social media startups. Oh, seriously, becoming streamers? I know, stream exception. Oh, you know, Miss Gwen Iphen. There's always room for creative talents at the IBM. And I don't want to toot my own horn or anything. Like Gwen! I've been introduced a lot of big Wait, wait, we can like them. Hold on. The Albert stamp of approval goes a long way. Aw, thanks, Albert. Event like them? I'm afraid I'm too invested in the CN Joe for now, though. Good to know there's an offer on the table. What's cool? I What's up, Celsius? <laughs> but uh, here's my card if you ever want a collab. Just give me a shout. Second no, ever no, event like them. Oh, W. Increasing your account's popularity level allows you to unlock more stories and events. This your looks sick. Will only I'm excited. Unlock more suppression towers and take on new challenges. Not to mention, by completing limited time It's missions, abundance? Trailblazers can obtain the event light cone, hey, over here. What do you think, Guilings? Let's give it up for Guilings' generosity. Woo! <sighs> In Still. Okay. I yeah, it's a point where light cone, yeah. It's weird that it's Gwenefin, but it's kind of cool. Here we go! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Let me see. <laughs> what the fuck? My goat. My goat. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huakua is a wind type character following the path of abundance. And a Design is awesome. Of the ten I don't care what Reddit says. Is to Ready? See my mouse? Look at my mouse. Watch my mouse. Ready? Huakua's <laughs> unique skill set isn't exactly a blessing. People, Huakua's basic attack 
Banner Storm okay. Collar can deal wind damage to a single target. Uh, kind of looks like her tail is the one making the decisions. <clears throat> when using her skill, Talisman Protection, Whoop Whoop bravely brandishes her banner. Restoring HP to a single ally and adjacent teammates. Are you sure she's not like AOE buff the heal? Okay. What was ultimate tail spiritual domination can regenerate allies' energy and increase their attack. Whoa. Energy farm. So that's what a helio bus looks like. No oh yeah. Wonder if attack buff and energy buff. Oh yeah, away. love it. When under the influence of her tail, what has a few special talents. After using her skill, she receives Sacrifice Life. Sacrifice Life can grant allies a set amount of HP restoration at the beginning of their respective turns or when they use their ultimate. Nice. Not bad for a trainee, huh? That's sick. This that is huge. This squad's gonna kick butt. Mm, that's not all. What was technique? Fiend impeachment of evil sends her enemies into a horror struck state. <laughs> it scares them away. The <laughs> when attacking a horror what struck a enemy, there's a chance of reducing their attack. Oh, scaring away your enemies. <laughs> cool, nice very cool. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dude, it goes hard. Hanya is a netherworld judge of the Ten Lords Commission. She's a she is hot. Holy fuck. So it's a different kind of buffer. Turn Unless this isn't attack. damage buff. Hanya uses her oracle brush to assault the enemy, dealing physical damage to a single target. She really lives by the pen is mightier than the sword, huh? <laughs> um, I'll get my coat. <sighs> Dude, In addition these to dealing on. physical damage to a single target, Hanya's skills, Samsara Lot, can inflict them with a burdened state. Ooh, is that Hanya's way of marking enemies prior to sentencing? Pretty much. Allies inflict increased damage but on enemies it marked with burden. And oh, that okay. Wasn't enough, increased damage after taken. An ally launches a set amount of attacks on an enemy marked with burden, they recover a skill point. When the oh, that's sweet. Tough, Hanya's Skill point recovery is a W. Hanya's ultimate, Ten Lords decree, all shall obey. All the animation. Speed and attack for a single ally. When Hanya Woo! uses her technique during exploration, she immediately launches an attack and inflicts burden on a random enemy. When the enemy won't budge, call in the judge. All oh, dude, stop talking, Kalos. Version 1.5, the new stagnant shadow, shape of perdition will appear within the fixture garden map on the Sienjo Lafu. Complete the challenge to obtain new physical ascension materials. Within the same map, we'll also be okay. welcoming Cavern new. of Corrosion, Path of Darkness. Complete new. the challenge to obtain Interesting. two brand okay. new cavern relics, prisoner in deconfinement, and Grand Duke incinerated to ash. Who are they going to be good on, though? Ooh, well, you guys show off what they do or not? Brings us to the final sections of our haunted Cien Joe special program. You can't show us huh? new rallies and not show us what they do. <laughs> code, code, code. Hey, you there. Yeah, what's up? Sick and tired of the daily grind? Nah. Had enough of running errands? Nope. Do you long for rapturous applause and cheering voices? Not particularly. How about increased self-confidence and a sense of pride? Then do we have an opportunity for you? The Boulder Town okay. Martial Exhibition is now first, open First two cards, research. there you go. Put yourself to the test by challenging the best. This event will once again be hosted by Scott. Wait, is this another event? Scott Fitness Alliance, made for the champions. In order to bring our audience a brand new experience, this event will be adopting a simultaneous exhibition for This is different. Use your fist to prove your worth. Enter, I am the ultimate fighter to register your name. Could you be Boulder Town's new fighting star? <laughs> what? They just put an event in the break screen? What the hell is that? Stellar Shadow Seeker recruitment announcement. March 7th, member of the Nameless has put out a cordial invitation for anyone able to restore her photographs to the way she remembers them. They're putting the events in, were in the ad break. Damaged. I lost all kinds of cool pictures. Beautiful bum, scenery, bum. strange encounters, you name it. There's a 
big reward for anyone that can help me restore the images. Actions speak louder than words. Miss March's memories are in your hands. What the hell is happening? Herda of the Genius Society. You don't just put World 8 in the ad break. Beta testing for the newly developed simulated Dumb. universe World 8. Participants oh, will have they the look sick. And progress saved for future iterations. In order to participate in this offline confidential beta test. Oh, it's a beta test. Head to the most mysterious. Oh, wait, no, I missed it. <laughs> I missed the joke. Herda's office. Test participants will be rewarded. What do they do? Brand new what do they Patagonia do? Land of the Dreams and Firmament Frontline Glamoth Planer Ornaments. What are you waiting for? Get testing. What do they do? The Planer Fisher and Garden of Plenty events are about to begin. It's the version you know and love. Let the computer do the hard work for three minutes and get your hands on double rewards together. This was not an ad break. <laughs> Argenti's basic attack. Fleet Yo, Raven, thank you for the sub, my man. To a single target. His skill, Game basic attack. Justice hereby blooms. Can deal physical damage. Thank you, thank you so much, Raven. Enemies. Nice. You know, is it your favorite man, one to look? But mine doesn't is crazy. Oh, he'll be fucking crazy, Argenti's but I just hate the look of him. Pretty unique, triggering different effects depending on the amount of energy. He's just Drubus the Third from Reverse. Is the manifold <laughs> beauty of a driller. When consuming a small amount of energy. This guy's first off, he's not. Ultimate. For in this Sorry, garden, man. <laughs> supreme beauty bestows can deal damage to all enemies. When consuming all energy, Argenti's ultimate becomes merit bestowed in my garden, which deals greater damage. It also inflicts additional damage on a random target. Huh? So you can choose how much energy to release? Mm, that's not all. That's Argenti's kind of interesting, actually. Sublime object can allow Argenti to regenerate additional energy and obtain a stack of self-cultivation. Self-cultivation can increase Argenti's crit rate. Oh, so the more self-cultivation, the fiercer his attacks. Or uh, to, to put it another way, that's kind Argenti of fucked. Attack as many is one of those crazy? I could imagine. The greater the number of enemies, the faster his energy regeneration, and the stronger his combat. Exactly. Stronger combat, faster energy regeneration, more enemies to attack. Argenti giving erudition vibes. I'm here for it. I hate Kalos. <laughs> I just do. Manifest to a purest virtue can daze enemies within a set range. Today's enemies are unable to launch attacks. Attacking yeah, that's kind of cool. It's not crazy, though. Combat that only deals damage to all enemies, but also regenerates Argenti's energy. Woo! It's a script. Argenti is kind of handsome. Dude, it doesn't mean I, I'm, I'm not allowed to not like that. Do I hate the voice actor? Fuck no, I just don't like <laughs> the, what the dude's saying. Kill. That's true. Did Argenti I'm not playing this. I never played Companion Quest Argenti anyway, but this is such a skip. <laughs> night of universal hallucinations. We only get one in this quest? Interesting. We only get one Companion Quest? That's crazy. To the version 1.5 warp events. Uh, finally. Show us the banners. During the first phase of version 1.5. Yeah, see? In the character Expected. Warp. So many banners though. Hold on. Can obtain character like own, character like own. Okay, yeah, it's a rerun. Probably yes, Silverwolf. My favorite scaredy cat trainee judge. During the second phase of version 1.5, we'll be welcoming Oh, this links as well. Thorns <laughs> crown. Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star character Argenti. Ah, links. Nice links. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in contract zero. Yeah, I'm gonna farm this down a bit. We'll be joining the war. Not to mention the four star character. I'm pulling. No, I'm not. Dude, I'm just pulling on the silver wolf banner. Easy win. Second phase character of Bit Wars. Ah, long time no see, silver wolf. <laughs> uh, I wonder if her game accounts are doing any better. You want to ask her the next time you see her? What's the artwork for Fuego Signature Light Cone? I want to see it. Now, it's time to take a look at version 1.5's Light Cone. In the first phase of version 1.5, dude, I love it. It's so nice. Five star light cone, night of fright, will be boosted. While in the second phase of version 1.5, the five star light cone, an instance before gaze, will enter the light cone event warp. At the same time, the drop rate for the five star light cone, incessant rain, will be boosted. All aboard! <laughs> the train is about to make the jump. What is this? Here's some other cool stuff. Starting from 1.5 within the team selection and character ascension screens, every character will have brand new voice lines. This is a different kind of arena. That's cool, I guess. Is that good or bad? 
He's that whole horse ascension line. Ah, so cute. <laughs> uh, wait, if a character's already fully ascended, can we still hear their line? We got you covered. All audio lines get saved in the index. You can listen back at any time. Here's something else. That's kind of cool. In a guest book? We'll also be seeing a guest book feature update. If trailblazers are ever curious to check which friends have visited the Express, the guest book has a record and message. I thought that meant your friends and you get to customize it. <laughs> now, okay. Additionally, the Forgotten Hall will also be receiving updates in 1.5. Okay. First up, in Forgotten Hall Combat, trailblazers can now choose to re challenge. Re challenge? It's like this. If things aren't going too smooth when you can just hit Rachel, Trailblazers can choose to return to the Forgotten Hall map and restart the challenge. When re challenging, previously used technique points are replenished. A Thank to God! A technique strategy, perhaps. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot to mention Thank God. stopping and restarting a challenge in the second half of a stage doesn't mean you have to redo the first half. Whew, that is a relief. And that is so much better. Forgotten Hall, your combat lineup for each stage is now remembered. Regardless oh! of whether you met with Big Oh, been asking for this. Your previous lineup will be waiting for you. Oh, on the thank you so screen. much. <laughs> no need for manual oh. selection. Now that's my kind of thing. Thank God, man. Ready for trailblazers to give it all a spin. The Forgotten Hall is an important system within the game. Updates will continue to be rolled out, so stay tuned. Yeah, yep. All good. Versions. All good, devil. Well, looks like it's time for getting better for update. Code. I know. See you on the Final redemption code coming in, boys. Alright, 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 alright. Let me get this one in too. Uh buh. Buh. Da. Ba da da. Da 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 da. Boom. So combining these with this, and that is all three codes. My boys, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Done. While this is going, gift of Odyssey. Forget. We're never, never not getting these, ladies the and gentlemen. They are always on putting the on a show. There it is. Heck yeah. Gotta love a chicken love it. event. <laughs> and that's not the only huge W in version 1.5. Anything in today's IPM programs tickle your fancy guys? You had me at Ghost Hunting Squad. I am so ready for a spooky stream. <laughs> so far, it looks like a really good patch. As for me, it was all about those unique characters. Hoho's tail backstory, Hanya's Ten Lords expertise, and Argenti's mysterious search for the beauty. I hate the Argenti art. Yeah, dude, I do as well. I hate the guy in general, but. And with that, Trailblazers, I bid you a peaceful onward journey. Thank you for supporting the IBM. Pose banners look so bad. Jonesy looks so good. My brother, I've never heard a man say anything less of a lie than that. Ready? Post credit event. Shit, never mind. <laughs> Ultimately, dude, this patch looks huge. This patch looks so sick. Like, what is there not to enjoy? We have spooky event. We've got Huo Huo. We've got Hanya coming in. Huo Huo being a pseudo harmony also is really, really cool. Who cares about Argenti? I was. Half switched off watching that dude, uh, you know, talk about his kit. Um, that's crazy. Ho Ho banner's getting regular down hang, island servile. How's that not bad? Never said it wasn't bad. I just said it's better than the Argenti banner because Argenti banner has Argenti on it, so that automatically makes it the worst banner in the game. I'd rather sit on the cactus personally than pull on that. But anyway, it is a great looking patch. Also, there were so many events, not to mention we have new. Plan our ornaments, and we've also got new relics. Ultimately, a huge W. Anyway, boys. Anyway, that is the end of the stream, my boys. Patch looks awesome. I'll put the codes in the Discord. If you are new, join the Discord. It will have all the explanation of that shit there. And yeah, I'll make some YouTube videos explaining Argenti, Hanya, and last but not least, Hua Hua. I'll see you boys around. Okay? Have fun.